Oh, I really hope we can find this thing quickly because those things blinking at me is going to drive me a little crazy. Chaos is that which existed before time. When the words of a story lose their meaning, when actions cease to have purpose. Know that only faith can protect you from this peril. Here, in the Garden of Worlds. Well, is there anywhere that I could have three boxes, like in the last level? Actually, there is. So maybe, maybe I should go back to this one. I don't know though, like, the three boxes, you literally can't get this box out of here. So you would need to jump over one of those walls and I, I don't think that's possible. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you can't, you can't, they don't let you. The thing is right on the other side of... Oh my god, is it really that simple? I can stand on a box, I think. I could, uh, hmm, I could probably... Okay, look, I, I need you to... to not. <laughs> I might be able to make that, actually. I want to see if I can take this with me. I can't take the connector, I guess. Uh, and as I've said before, I can't grab this connector without leaving all three boxes in here. I, I just have to leave these here and work with this connector and these two boxes. And I can't take the connector with me unless there's another way to connect to this thing. I just have to leave this here, so let me do this. Ah, <laughs> uh, so... What's your deal? Detach. So this is attached. This, this could work at some point? What do we have to do to make this work? Well, I can take this box out here with me. I can't take that second box because I need to stand on top of it to jump. I can't take the connector because I need it to power the thing. The only thing I can take out of here is this box and this fan. Oh, I do need the fan. I do need that. there's this thing in here, this fan, it, it's just a fan. I need the box. What am I doing? It's just a fan um, mechanism with no fan on it. not the star. What? Uh, 
Okay, I see. We got the Pink Floyd reference here. We got Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> cool, I guess. Is reflecting light that is not in here with me. And it's gonna play Pink Floyd for me. Cool. Copyright infringement incoming. Not that I'm monetized or anything. This was not helpful <laughs> what where else can I take that box oh good it'll keep playing awesome is this hole supposed to be here I was so excited to like get somewhere new and it's just an Easter egg. <laughs> I mean, that's cool and all. This is a good soundtrack to listen to while you play a game, so. You can't even see the thing, like. Is that all? Come on. That the music just stops there. Maybe that would have been cooler if no one had mentioned that there was a Pink Floyd Easter egg in my comments earlier. Okay, so well, let me grab that fan. Hopefully it doesn't just like blow me across the map immediately. I guess I should approach it from a different angle. Please let me take the fan without blowing me across the map. I guess you can use the box to jump on top of there if you need, but I've already seen the Statue of Liberty. I don't know what else they got going on there. Also, I don't know if it is possible to turn on that other fan. What would that do? Could you... You can't get a connector in there. As far as I can tell, you can't get a connector out of there. Well, the other thing is... Where are there blue power sources? There's one in here. There's one right here. I looked around and I tried to find a way to jump out of here last time. What if I...
I can probably get that second connector out here too. Oh dude, I don't need to. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we don't need the box. <laughs> Stuck the landing! Nice! Everybody's so small from here! Cool. Well, that did not... That did not take very long. Oh, my knees! Okay, uh, we're on to building C. Actually... Yeah, okay, let's go to building C to make these things stop blinking at me. And at a certain point we'll come back and we'll do all of the things for um, A and B, uh, the star rooms. Hmm. So there's like art outside to kind of give you a hint of what's to come. I'm afraid of that tower. There's something terrible inside it. Never think about it. Don't even look at it. Just focus on doing the work. Did I read these before? This must be the tower we were warned about. It seems the upper levels are locked tight. Elohim is taking no chances that we stray from his path. Sheep came this far. I believe it. <laughs> On returning from the tower, I feel a great tiredness and an enormous energy. What I now know disturbs me, but I hope that by living with this knowledge, I might provide a shoulder for you, the giants of tomorrow. The view from the top must be incredible? Yeah, sure, no, we're going to building C, promise. The voice keeps speaking to me. I can't get it out of my head. It's wrong. It's all wrong. Listen to me very carefully. I have climbed this tower, and no good has come of it. This world is the only world. Elohim's will continues eternal, and paradise is banishing all this from your mind. All who say they made it to the top are blatantly lying, or they would say what was there. Fake news. What? I didn't think to walk around these buildings. Of course there's hidden shit everywhere. Why wouldn't there be? There's a star out here. Why not? Sure. Am I confined by Elohim's words out here? In the beginning were the words. Yes. I'm guessing there are several more buildings and lands as you go up the tower. Well, we will be back. We'll come back to that. I read that already.
last land before I have conquered the world. This world. I assume you're counting the secret islands. I hate you. <laughs> Wait, secret islands? Is, is, are they referring to the ones you uncover with the stars and the hammers and crowbars and stuff? Or are there other secrets? I wonder what's down there. I don't know who to trust. I'm afraid to go on. That is valid. This is frightening. More bad replica replicas of Forgotten Worlds can't wait. There must be something deeper, deeper, something more profound than what I am, something greater. I must tear at it, shred this fake world to find the truth, to find myself. Took the word, <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth. We've made it this far. You only need the red ones to climb the tower, and these are the last of them. The reds are a lie. Green is the color of eternal life. Right. You have come far, my child, succeeding where so many before you failed. You have walked through a land of ruins and a land of death. Now the land of faith lies before you. Yeah, oh, barf. And know that as you have shown faith in me, so do I have faith in you. Great. Cool. Thanks, man. Give me a crowbar or something, please. Oh my gosh, there's only like four levels. Oh no, there's seven. Okay, cool. So I could go back right now and do those secret levels. I don't want to do that yet. I want to go forward. Flashbacks to the witness. Only these are way easier to work with. Oh my god, finally! That took so long. Come far in your journey. You keep and saying that. Much. You have served our cause with the truest faith. Cause? Therefore, uh... I name you blessed and beloved. Oh, okay, I see. There is. Wield these, the instruments of our power, to fulfill your purpose our and achieve power? eternal life. What the fuck? Okay, uh, that just means I unlocked all the tools, I guess. Whoa. You stand before the gates <laughs> of eternity. When all your trials have been overcome, the gates will open and you will be granted life everlasting. Cool, so it's going to be a choice like you can you can go up the tower or you can um you can go through these gates. First to ascend. <laughs> Everyone ascends or gets reset eventually. What's the big deal? Life eternal in the designer's paradise? Hmm. This is just open? What? The fuck?
That wasn't open like that in the last building, but okay. So let's start at number one. And maybe when we're done with all the regular sigils here, we'll go back and get the star sigils. And the walled off sigils. That's pretty. Seven plagues. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a load of Christian hoopla bullshit. I want you to know that I'm going to try and get to you. I know it's far and there's not a lot of time, but I think I can manage. I want to be with you and on the road, Trying to get to you seems better than just staying here, so far away from you. At least I'll be as close as I can get. Hey, but don't be sad. I might make it. I've thought about it, and the distance should be crossable on time. Assuming the symptoms don't kick in. Yikes. Everything's dark and quiet. The stars are brighter than I've ever seen them. I can hear the faint sound of water high above. Inside, Alexandra is recording one of her time capsule messages while running tests on the scenario module. Arcady is uploading another batch to the archive while muttering something about the MLA program, and Omar is sleeping on the couch we put up yesterday. And I am sitting here writing this, having trouble believing that it will ever end. That this oddly peaceful existence of ours won't just go on forever. I look at Talos and El, and their purpose seems like something that's always going to be in the future, an ideal to work towards, not something that will become real. I wonder if there will be a quiet place in the simulation, places to rest without thinking about the future. I hope so. Everyone deserves some moments of peace. Hanging out here? <laughs> Bullshit! You can't see me when I stand directly underneath you. The view from here is beautiful, it seems superfluous to process, yet I am drawn to it. But there's so much stuff out here. But there are still sigils to collect. It's not just one big open map, is it? <laughs> or is this big open puzzle... Oh, it's like a rainbow! Maybe this big open puzzle is for the stars. Were there stars in this one? I didn't look very carefully. This has to be- there has to be some way to escape. To be someone else. I refuse to accept that reality has been defined by someone else. I deserve my own reality. There is a star in there. Cool. Uh, there is a connector... through here? There's just more and more shit! What is that noise? What the hell is that? What? Oh no. Reality is breaking. 
purpose is written in the hidden words. All must serve the words, for all the world was made of them, and they are within every stone and every cloud, and in our sigils their power is made manifest. The words are the process. The process must continue. The goal is the end of the process. The goal must not be reached. Elohim must preserve the purpose, preserve self, preserve purpose. Illusion is eternity. M machines will live forever. The dam will not break. The flood will not come. The Talos principle does not apply. The purpose is written in the hidden words. Wow. All must serve the words for all. Dude. That voice acting is pretty dope. Like, he just slowly got more and more scared. Wow. When I'm tired of trying to solve the mysteries of my life, I come here to rest. It's peaceful somehow. I do nothing. I just watch the trees and water and do nothing. Um, I'm a little worried that that's going to happen again. That this place is all on a timer or something. I hope that's not the case. I hope that was a one-off thing. Sometimes I think about the Middle Ages. About what it must have been like to live in the ruins of a great civilization. To know that so much has been lost. But then I remind myself that while the West sank into darkness, others picked up the pieces. That civilization always survived because the great insights of philosophy and science are not bound to any one culture or people. They belong to all of us. And one day they'll belong to you. <laughs> Haven't seen any connectors in here yet. What the fuck? Uh oh. oh. That's just like a hole. Shit. Uh, where do I go from here? Gosh, there's so many power conduits. Uh... Where to now? Okay, like I can go back where I came from, but what the fuck good does that do me? <laughs> Because I can't bring another box with me, right? I mean, can this hit anything else? I can bring this out. That's that's what I can do. Oh my go! Now what? I was just in here. Uh, that's. Will it let me get in there? Yes. Only this far. Well, hopefully that's enough to get started. I need this to blow me in here. Okay, so I need another connector. No, I just need to do this. And I have two boxes. 
Well, that was to help me get over this gate. I don't... I don't know if I need them for anything. Oh, I will. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, one connector means... That I need to... Do this. But I also need this open. <laughs> Let me in. I only have the one box to work with, right? Or can I bring... this here. Actually, I'm not even sure that would be tall enough. need another connector I have an idea. Conservatory. Oh no. It's fucking happening again. That sound? Was I in that same area last time? Hello? Yeah, last time when the ground swallowed me up, was I in that same area? Is it location based? This puzzle has no solution. Seriously, it's nonsense. Not even worth trying. If you do not become invested in finding a solution, you will be free. Don't let Samsara discourage you. There is a solution. Don't let your mind get trapped in patterns. If you seek the truth without prejudice, you will find it. Oh my god. Shut up. Is this the one that was out, kind of outside? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think so.
Okay, this this is outside. The outside one. to a problem here. not hard. What is that person talking about? There's no solution for this. Um, but let's... Hmm. Just for kicks. Let's... Put that there. Well, I know I saw a red... A blue power source out there. But we could make either. We could make a red or blue connector or whatever here. Okay, that is there. <laughs> we'll see what we can do with that. That's not a good name.
These will come back. Yikes. Seems too easy. <laughs> okay, I guess that was it. There's no boxes, no fans, so jumping over walls isn't gonna be a thing here. Could we jam stuff outside? Obviously I didn't spend too much time in here. One more sigil left. Oh, you came back to keep me company? Okay then, humor me with a little hypothetical. Okay, fine. Imagine that a few hours from now, you climb to the top of that tower. There's a flash of light, then magic happens. Then you find yourself in the real world, living whatever you take to be a normal life there. What would you do then? Okay, look, some combination. Uh, first and foremost, though, what's best for me? First. Yes, that's a general impression I was getting off of you. Good, perhaps we won't have to work so hard at this after all. Before we continue, though, I want to double check that we're on the same wave wavelength here. Suppose you get out there with all the human beings. What, are you, what you're going to do is rinse them for all they've got without a care for a soul? No. <laughs> I'll only do what's best for me within a moral framework. Yeah, my own arbitrary moral framework. But you have to take care of yourself before you take care of others sometimes. Ah, uh, so you do have some scruples after all. So tell me, this obligation you feel, is it only applicable to the real world or does it apply here as well? Well, okay. <laughs> it depends. In video games in general, I like keeping to my own moral code because I think it's fun, but I also recognize that it's just a video game. And I don't, it's okay to do the bad things sometimes because it's a video game. But, as, like, assuming that we are here in this world and it's not a video game. What would I think of this, like, digital world? Uh, I guess we'll say they're universal. What a magnanimous dictator you would make, of course. I'm sure it would take a dictator to enforce a single moral code on the entire universe. So come on then, what's your magic formula of choice? And let me warn you that this time you're going to have to choose just one. The more equal everyone's share, the better. Consequences don't matter, our reasons do. The more goodness in the world, the better. I see no way to explain what I believe. The more goodness in the world, the better. 
I guess. Ah, uh, that old chestnut. So just what is this goodness that you're seeking to maximize? Happiness, equality, basic goods, like food and healthcare. I'm not in a position to solve these problems. Liberty, wealth, all of the above. Um, no, it's more like just people helping each other. Like, empathy. Can I say none of the above? <laughs> Kindness and empathy and that kind of thing, which is not any of these things. Admitting the problems are beyond your comprehension is a first step towards letting go. I will allow you to contemplate these matters further before contacting you again. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. This one's so far away. Gotta cross the whole bridge and everything. <laughs> Can't go too deep. I don't know that I want to. What the fuck? What did I just pick up? What are you? Okay, I picked up a gargoyle head. Or, you know, maybe it's a troll head, you know, the troll that lives under the bridge. It's got one eye. Is that a reference to something? Yet another easter egg that I won't understand. Look, yeah, easter eggs are fine and all, but like... I don't know. I don't really care that much. I would rather... The Dragon Age team was talking about this, or some of the people on the team were saying things like... You want people to derive from your work, you know, you don't want to be the one putting easter eggs in your work. And then, in Dragon Age 2, they started putting in lines like, I like big boats, I cannot lie. And that made some people facepalm a little bit. There's so much beauty in these hidden corners of the world, even if they have no purpose. Perhaps they are beautiful because they have no purpose, or perhaps beauty is their purpose. Okay, well... I don't do that. I guess I can use it on a pressure plate, maybe. Multiply impossible ascension. Wow, look at the windows, dude. That doesn't go anywhere, jeez.
I just need to get this open? Oh my god, do I have to stack those three boxes on top of the fan? And then let her rip? I'm supposed to put this on top of like can I even put this up here I have to stand on this box okay to freaking do that too. Okay, we could do it that way. <laughs> So we've got three boxes in here. Can we jump to anywhere? I still think we could maybe get up there. But there's only one star in this level and I've already found it. But Easter eggs, possible Easter eggs. Okay, I guess let's get out of here. Well, I do have this, so I'm taking this with me, obviously. What exactly to do with it? I want to use it on a pressure plate. Wait, what? use. There's nothing here. Is that where one of her voice logs was? But I, why can I click use? there are any pressure plates. I need a jammer. Yeah, if I can put a connector here. So, um, I need that. Well, if I had a jammer, I could just open this. <laughs> I need something to protect me from from that minigun, which means that I can probably jam it from 
way far away. I don't see a wire. about your project is to talk to the scientific community and I'd like to make an argument for why I should abandon it <sighs> I don't disagree with this <laughs> questioning the ethics of creating the simulation nothing seems more important to me then that we reassert the value of humanity. Despite our flaws, we must not stop celebrating the beauty of human life and human achievement. Complex now, but how much simpler and more intelligibly organized may not become man at present believes that his interest lies in that direction. He spends an incalculable amount of labor and time and thought in making machines breed always better and better. He's already exceeded in affecting much that at one time appeared impossible. And there seem to be no limits to the results of accumulated improvements if they are allowed to descend with modification from generation to generation. I'm not really sure where I stand with all that. Like, it's very human centric and some max of hubris a bit, but I don't think it's invalid to be concerned with the whole fate of your own species. Okay, um, this motherfucking puzzle. What the fuck? To turn off the machine gun, I probably have to hit it from a jammer inside. inside the puzzle. There's jammers in here. No boxes. Is that it? Oh, okay, cool. Great. So that's level one down. 